All right, if that method was exhausting and you hate coding, I have good news for you. Install a free app called Jamovi. This is a light statistics app. You can also get cloud access if you're working from a Chromebook. Open what file you're using, and this was um, my modified group to study responses. So here's a much easier way to recode your data. So what you're gonna do is, there's two ways to do this in Jamovi. There's the real way and then there's the cheater way, but I think the cheater way is easier. So we're gonna start with this variable, which was on a weeknight, about how many nights do you use technology before bed, okay? So we're gonna double click on this and it's gonna bring up this screen. And let's just relabel this because it automatically imports the way the question was worded in Google Forms, which is really big for this. So let's just change this to screen time bedtime, right? This is a nominal variable, that, technology, that terminology should be familiar by now. And it knows that we have text entry. But what we're gonna do is here are the levels that it's telling us are available with this variable. Here's all the answers we could possibly get for this level. So let's figure out what we want our coding to be. We want rarely to be one. And it's gonna tell you that that had been rarely. Now it's one, rarely still the label for one. We want a couple nights a week to be two. We want most nights to be three. And we want every night to be four. Now you'll see this has changed our text to numbers, right? But we're not, we're not fooling the system. We can't just go in now and tell it, oh no, this was a number all along, or it disappears. It knows it was a text. And if we try to do anything with it, like if we go over here to exploration and we were to try to get, um, to get any sort of mean from it, mean, median, standard deviation, or anything, we can get the count of how many times each one was worded or was recorded, but we still can't do mean, median, anything like that, because it knows that all we've done is change a word to a number, right? We have not outsmarted the software. However, what we can do is we can left click and click add a variable and tell it to insert one. So here's my new variable right here. And I'm going to name this screen time, bedtime two. And now I'm going to tell that this new variable I'm creating is an ordinal variable. And I'm going to tell it that I'm imputing numbers. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here and select all of my answers from this one. I'm going to do a control C for copy. That's control C. I'm going to click the first one and I'm going to click control V for paste. So now what it did was it transferred over the numbers. And now I can go and work with this. Go over here to descriptives. And you'll see that now it's actually going to give me a mean, a median, a standard deviation, and along with the percentage of which one. Now, obviously, this is not good statistics, right? Because all we're doing is coding. But if for um, items that are more of a Likert scale, so the strongly agree to strongly disagree, this is going to be able to give you some good information with what was your average score on there. So on a scale of one to five, strongly disagree to strongly agree. Um, it's going to, you're going to be able to work with these as numbers, which if you're trying to do some basic correlational research, which we are going to be trying to do for the purposes of our analyses, that'll be really helpful. Um, and that is how one way that you could turn a nominal variable into a number that you can actually work with to do some calculations.